Neighborhood parks throughout the city are buzzing with fun, entertainment, and interactive opportunities for kids and families in Wilmington, thanks to a yearly summer program called Summer in the Parks. Summer in the Parks um, was launched in 2013. Uh, the city of Wilmington asked the grant to produce um, some kind of pop-up arts activities throughout the city of Wilmington's parks. Each week through August 7th, Summer in the Parks brings life to the city's parks and public spaces and brings residents free interactive arts activities such as craft making, storytelling, dance, and movement. Yeah. Pamela Minocchio, Director of Community Engagement for the Grand Opera House, says over the past seven years, their partnership with the city has also provided them a unique opportunity to connect with many of Wilmington's talented local artists a lot of different artists in, in our, right in our neighborhoods that are doing great things for our community. So I'm able to work with them, bringing them into the parks and, and giving their, helping their services you know, be brought to the children as well. At night, the Summer in the Parks series provides more free entertainment for the whole family. Every Tuesday for six straight weeks, 90 minutes of music, dancing, art making, and water ice are featured at parks like the Rodney Street Tot Lot. I'm an avid salsa dancer and I had seen on Facebook about the outside salsa in the park for this evening and thought I'd come and check it out. Lisa Zanellini came out for the Summer in the Parks event from Middletown, Delaware. She joined dozens of residents at Rodney and 4th Streets, transforming the corner lot into a Latin dance party with a live DJ and dance lessons from salsa instructor Michael Payne. I think it's wonderful to see kids out and be able to do something fun. Dance is a, an awesome event that any age can participate in and I think it's good for kids to come out and see that there's this as an option to doing things other than what they're doing today, sitting and playing on their iPads or game systems. So. Since the Summer in the Parks program began, over 21,000 residents have benefited from over 400 events across the city. Outreach that Pamela Minocchio says the Grand and the City of Wilmington plan to continue growing each summer. I think we can expand on our evening concerts. I think that there are a lot of different parts of our community that we're just not able to reach all in one year, but um, if we just keep on trying and working together, we're identifying the places where we need it most and where uh, the community is, is opening their arms and welcoming us. And bringing people together of all ages and all backgrounds, one step and one beat at a time. Reporting from Wilmington, McKaylin Austin, 22 News.